Hello, welcome to Yoga with Yarn. Um, we're here today to practice a little bit of morning stretches. And we would start off by just sitting comfortably, whether it be on a chair, on a mat, on the floor, on the beach, whatever is good for you. And sit up nice and tall. And just take a moment and lower your gaze and notice three things that you can see and mentally make a note of them. So we're noticing, we're orientating ourselves into our space. And then from here, we're going to lower our eyes or close our eyes, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're going to notice how our body is feeling with the support system that we have right now. So notice what is grounding you. What is holding you up? Is it your uh, sit bones that are holding you up against the floor or a chair? That is, is the back of a chair supporting you? Are your hands touching your knees? And uh, where, are your, where are your feet? Are they grounded on the floor? Are they folded? And as we breathe in, we notice that we are supported. As we breathe out, we notice we are safe. And from here, we're gonna take some big breaths, but we're gonna start by just noticing where our breath is right now. Are we breathing in and out from our chest? Is it coming from our ribs? Is it coming from our abdomen? So to encourage a nice deep breath, we're gonna pull our belly into the back, like touching the spine, taking a breath in. And notice the air, the breath coming all the way through from the bottom of our body, all the way up, sitting up nice and tall. And then release through the nose as it comes out. Another breath in, breathing up following the air, imagining that breath coming all the way through the body and breathing out. One more breath, breathing in through the body and breathing out. Bring our hands close to prayer position in front of our chest, our thumbs touching our chest, opening up our gaze slightly, deciding what we're going to do today, setting attention, whether it be a mantra that you have, I am present, I am here, I am safe. Choose whatever mantra you have, or you can use one that I am setting for myself. I am calm. Let's get started. And we're going to come to the top of our mat. We'll bring our feet close together and our hands are going to be in position in front of our chest. And we'll take our hands and we're going to lift them up and you're going to stretch back a little, push your hips forward, and then bend forward. And touch your toes or the mat, bend your knees, ever's comfortable, get your hands down to the mat, take a breath, take your right leg, take it back, put your knee down, unfold your toes, and look up, and then take your left leg, Close your right in plank position. Lower your knees, chest, and elbows down. Forward, back into the top. Bring your right leg forward, left leg down. Look up. And then bring your left leg back to match your right. Stretch forward. Bring it back. Stretch it back. And from position. Now we'll do the left side. 
so sun salutation, classical style, taking your hands, lift them up, push your hips forward and stretch, back, and forward, forward, fold, hands to the ground, take your left leg, stretch, up the way back, unfold your toes, look up, take your right leg to your hand or left, into plank position. Slowly lower your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Slowly arch your back up and back into your downward dog. Lifting up your hips. From here, we're going to make sure that our um, weight is evenly distributed between our feet and our hands. So we want to lift our hips as high as they can go. Maybe we want to bend our knees a little. We'll lift our hips a little higher. And then slowly try and release our legs. Dropping our head, our head is dangling. We'll be looking towards our toes. You just notice, how does this feel releasing Allow gravity to take over. And then from here, we're going to drop our knees down. Then we're going to unfold our toes. Our hips are going to go back onto our heels. And we're going to melt down into the mat. Hands are stretched forward into a nice child pose. And just allow, if you want to bring your hands back next to your body, palms facing up. Allow your body just to release. Just to release. Taking some nice deep breaths in and out of your lower body. From here, we're going to slow it up. Sitting with our legs in crisscross position. I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to bend the knee and place it over the right. Sitting it nice and tall. Take my right hand and wrap it around my left knee, so bringing it closer to me. And nice and tall, I'm going to take my left hand up, and then I'm going to place it behind the middle of my back, and just ease towards turning towards the left side. Notice the stretch that's taking place in your left thigh. And breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Slowly release that. Switch sides. Now, taking your right leg and placing it over your left knee on the ground. Get your hip to go down to the ground. If it's not touching, you want to put a block. And then sitting up nice and tall, taking your left hand, reaching up high, and placing it around your right knee. And your right hand, nice and tall, placing it in the middle of your back, sitting up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And as you release, twist towards the right, looking towards the overside of your right shoulder. And breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And notice that stretch that's taking place on your right hip all the way up your back. And then slowly release. From here we're going to take our feet together. And we're going to bring them as close as what's comfortable. We're going to hold our toes, sit up nice and tall and start 
moving our knees up and down, often called butterfly pose. You close your eyes here if you feel something you would like to do. Um, and just breathe into your hip joints and notice how your hip joints are feeling. Maybe um, bring your camera down a little bit here. Maybe, um, maybe your feet are out here and, and that feels good. And that's where you start and you just gently up and down with your knee flaps. Or maybe you're a little closer, but it's it, yoga is a very personal practice. So you find what works for you and it should not be painful. So whatever works for you, bring it as close as you're comfortable and then slowly moving up and down and breathe in and out as you slowly move your legs up and down releasing the hip joints. Often we have a lot of stress that is kept in that area. And so from sitting a lot, uh, we don't do enough. Sometimes we just don't do enough. Sometimes we're lucky too, but if we don't, we have to take care and, and give our bodies what they need. So as, as a, it's a nice thing to give a, our joints a little bit of life, right? So we're sitting up nice and tall, breathing in and just flapping up and down like a butterfly, opening up the groin area. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, so from here we're gonna do um, a few leg lifts. I invite you to stretch out your legs and go down to the ground, onto your mat, lying down. And we're going to simply place our hands um, interlaced behind our head and taking our right leg, breathing in, we're gonna lift our leg up and then we're slowly gonna break down. And then we're gonna bring our left leg up and then we're slowly gonna bring it down. Right, breathing in and breathing out. Left, Breathing in, and breathing out. Right, breathing in, and down. Left, breathing in, and breathing out. Right, up, and down. Left, up, and down. Now let's take our right leg and lift it up and make circles with our ankles in one direction five times and then go to the opposite side opposite direction when you're in. five times to the right five times to the left and then slowly release your leg down left leg up Five times to one direction, turning your toes, keeping your, it's, uh, it's turning your ankle, using your toes to like little circles, one way, and then the other way, five times. And when you're done, just slowly release your leg. Now we're going to take both legs and bring them up, holding your legs together, pointing your toes towards you, palm, uh, chin is tucked in a little, taking a nice breath and breathing in, bringing our legs up together to 90 degrees and then slowly bringing them down, maybe two inches from the ground, breathing in, taking it up and breathing out, bringing it back down. Breathing in, up and breathing out, taking it down. Breathing in, up and breathing out to the in, going up and breathing out, going down. Breathing in, taking it up. Let's hold it here. Let's count five 
four, three, two, one. I am powerful, I am capable, I am present. Bringing our legs to a 45 degree and hold here, toes pointing towards you. Five, four, three, two, one. I can accomplish anything I put my mind to. Slowly bringing down your legs. Let's take a moment here. Open up your legs, mat width apart, arms 45 degrees from your body, palms facing up, and breathe. Just notice that great job you just did, breathing in and breathing out. My body is my temple, and I am taking care of myself. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing in. So here we're going to take our, our legs and we're going to close our legs. And we're going to take our right knee and bring it close to the chest. Moving your hands, interlace your hands around your calf and try and bring your knee to your right side of your chest and just notice how that feels as you breathe in and you breathe out you know bring your middle closer to your chest you want to point your toes away from your body breathing in and breathing out breathing in and breathing out and then slowly release that right leg Notice how it feels compared to the left leg. Now we're going to take our left leg and do the same. Bending our left leg, interlacing our hands behind the um, chin, pointing our toes, breathing in. As we breathe out, we're going to bring that knee closer to our left side of the chest. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then slowly release back. Now we're going to bring our both legs together on the floor. Knees are up, pointing up towards the sky. We're going to join up to our hands and hold on to our kneecaps. And we are going to slowly make small circles into the body and out. In and out. And you can make your circles as big as you like or as small as you like. Your preference, whatever you feel good. What this is doing is giving our lower back a wonderful massage. We don't always need to go to uh, a spa. We can take care of ourselves every single day. And these are techniques we can do. So the small little circles, the big circles, whatever it's your body is craving for, you get it. And then when you're done on that one side, you go to the opposite direction, making small circles or big circles, whatever is your preference, whatever your body says. It's what I'd like to have right now. I love lower back um, circles because I have a lot of lower back issues. Now from here, I'm going to take both legs together and go to the right and then go to the center and then to the left and to the, the back of the more my toes up. So now we're taking bigger circles in one direction. I'm going to the right, center, left, and down, right, center, left, and down. So this is a nice uh, massage specifically for the end of the tailbone and we're breathing in as we go up and breathing out as we make our turns breathing in as we go up and breathing out and when we're good on the one direction pause at the center and take it to the left up and right and down 
Now we're making the opposite direction. Circles together, feet are holding together, knees are together, hands are holding on your kneecaps as you make these circles small or big, whatever your body is calling up for. And pause, we're gonna get to the center and then we're gonna relax. Now from here, let's switch down a little bit. From here, we're going to bring our knees uh, close to uh, our lower back, to our, to our butt. Hands are down. And really, this is a tilt of your pelvis. So it's gonna be your glutes that are working and your pelvis. So as you breathe in, and when you breathe out, you're going to um, contract your glutes. Pull them in tight, like tightening your butt, and slowly bring up, tilt up your pelvis. So, so ever so slightly, just squeezing your butt and pulling up a little, okay? And then release. So we're gonna squeeze and pull up and down. So it's really the lower tail of the back that's getting worked on. In, squeezing, and out, releasing. You're not lifting up any of your back part. It's just the lower, lower tail end that's getting engaged. So squeezing the butt, tilting up, and release. Squeezing the butt, going up, the pelvis tilting it up, and then release. So spin up and down. Squeezing your butt and release. Squeezing your butt and release. Do a couple more on your own at your own pace. Remembering to breathe in as you tilt up and breathe out as you put your butt back on the mat. In and out. Okay, and from here, we're going to do a full bridge. And again, this is the, this is where we start. It's that engagement of the butt pull it up and then slowly one vertebrae at a time we lift our hips up and many times people get confused with this we really want to concentrate on tightening up our butt and pulling in our lower abs as we bring ourselves into this bridge position and then we're slowly going to come down one vertebrae at a time so again squeezing our butt Pulling in our tummy and then slowly one vertebrae at a time, going up, 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 hold for a moment, and then slowly releasing from the top of the back to the middle of the back and then to the lower back. Do three more of these on your own. Breathing in, going up, and breathing out, and down. Breathing in, coming up, and breathe out, and more. Okay. From here, we're going to make our way up by slowly turning to the right side, and gently pushing off with your left hand, and back up. Oops, somehow I lost my hair back. Huh. Here we go. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna sit up and take a moment and notice how we're feeling. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So now we're going to just do a little bit of side stretches for the side of our bodies. Taking a right hand 
and placing it down beside our right thigh. Left hand stretches up, taking a breath, and then slowly leaning towards the right, bending the elbow, and as far as it feels comfortable, you stretch. And you will get a nice stretch from the left side of the hip all the way through, pointing your hand as if you're touching the sky or the top of your ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And coming back to center. This time taking your right hand, lifting it up, nice and tall. Left hand is by your left thigh. Taking a breath, reaching your fingers up and slowly going over to the left side. Again, the stretch coming from the right side and leaning whatever is comfortable. Imagine there's string pulling your fingers, your right fingers up towards the, the ceiling or the sky. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then breathe. I hope this was uh, a good stretch for you today. We're going to end by just taking a moment, bringing our hands to our chest, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. And just notice how your body is feeling now from the moment you sat down to the mat to where you are at this moment in time. Bringing our hands to our chest. I'm wishing you clear and loving intentions. Bringing our hands to our forehead. Wishing you clear and loving thoughts. And hands to our mouths. Wishing you clear and loving communications. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.